Okay. Is this visible? I guess it's almost. I guess this is okay. So for today's, like I'll start with the materials. And in between, if anyone is having any doubts, you can either text me, but like, like if you can turn on your mic, that's that would be better. So for today's workshop, like I'll be using these newly launched Polaroid sheets from Zen Sangam. Like they are really good. I mean, these are my favorites now. So yeah, in today's, for today's painting, we, I'll be using the Polaroid, like the A6 gouache sheets. So A7 is also available, but we'll be going ahead with A6 today. Actually, I did a small test run in this mini. This is not how we'll be painting in a much more detailed, like we'll be painting it in a much more detailed manner. So yeah, one second. So yeah, this is the A6 Polaroid sheet that I'll be using today. Like, as I start, like I'll zoom it in. So this is the paper surface on which we'll be painting. Then like, I'll tell you the colors which we'll be using today. So these are the colors that I'll be using. So first of all, very importantly, we need black and white. And then for the background greens, we'll need yellow. Like I'm using mid yellow. This is actually the jelly cup. I'm using mid yellow. You can go ahead with any yellow of your choice. Like, but I'll be using this medium yellow. And then this is the brown and green. So these are the only colors that you'll be, uh, you'll need today. So for the paint brushes, so for, I'll be using a flat brush and also a round brush for detailing. This is for leaf purpose. Round brushes are mainly for detailings. And this is for painting the black background, like all those flat surfaces. Okay, I'll also be using this knife to take out my paint. First, we'll start with sketching. So uh, you'll need a pencil and also scale, like this is optional. Then, and yeah, mixing plate. This is not that clean, yeah. And also jar of water and waste cloth. I guess that, that's it. So if you guys have any doubts or if you want me to go slow, please let me know. I have flash wash, so what colors to use in that? Oh, okay, okay. For that, yeah, same. White, black, white, black are common. And then, oh, green, any kind of green you can use. Just a second. I'll tell you. So I guess sap green, you can go ahead with sap green and for the yellow, um, you can use yellow cream or yellow ochre, not yellow ochre, I guess this is golden yellow. Uh, I guess that's it. And for brown, I think burnt umber would do for flash gosh. Yeah, and that's it. Also, you have various like other colors. Okay, thank too. you. Yeah, you can use this also for the leaves. Like wherever you need light sheets. We can actually use, make use of all the colors that you have. You can mix it in your own way. So, yeah, this is it. Yeah. Masking tape. Oh, can you repeat? Can we use masking tape? Yeah, you can use masking tape. But uh, like I won't be going ahead with masking tape. Like I'll roughly make a border with my hand. Like if you want the edges to be clean and neat, you can use a masking tape. So as you can see, I didn't use anything here. So it's kind of rough. So it's up to you. You can use masking tape if you need. I'm 
I guess this is clear. So can we start with sketching? If you guys are ready, we can start. Yeah. Okay, so like, let me explain the picture first. So this is the, one second. So yeah, this is the picture. So first I'll start, we won't directly go with the black background first. First we'll color the things inside this rectangle. And then only the, the black thing will be the last step. So we'll start with the background. So the first layer will be this one, this white, this blurry background. And that will be our first layer. And moving on to the second layer, we'll be having three layers here. The first one would be the blurry background. We'll mix various colors. And then we'll be paint. The second layer would be these leaves. As you can see, there are leaves over here and here. So we'll cover the leaves in our second layer. And the final layer would be this grill and the entire window thing. So, so let's start marking first. Uh, I'll be making this window somewhat like a little towards the left of my paper, as you can see. So it's not exactly located in the center. If you want to make it in the center like this, you can place the window in the center, but I'll be, you know, slightly moving it towards the left. So, yeah. We'll start with the sketching. And for the sketching part, I'll just make a rectangle first along with these grid lines. So that's all the sketching part will be about. And so you can use a scale. So first, let me tell you roughly where the, like if you want to paint the a window in the center, you can mark a rectangle kind of a rectangle in the middle. See, if it is, I guess it's clear. You can place it in the center if you want. Uh, like I prefer it a little towards the left. So I'm just moving it a little towards the left. First, I'll roughly mark where I need. Here. Okay, this is a rough line, so it's fine. So almost two third of the paper, entire width of this paper would be this window. And also since I won't be paint, like uh, using masking tape, I'll roughly mark the border. If you want, you can use masking tape, but I'll roughly make a thin border. Like I'm not using scale, like I don't want to use scale. So that's the reason. So if you guys want, you can go ahead with masking tape. So I'm just marking the border. So it's fine if the, like, you know, the strokes are rough and not neat. Like, since you're using black, these, all these things, all these rough sketches would be, uh, you know, covered. So yeah, this is how it looks. As you can see, this distance is lesser than this distance. Like not, there is no big, big difference. Like you can see. So that's what I told, like I'll be pushing it towards the left a little. And then as for the grill, you need to divide this vertically into three parts. So I'll mark two points first. 
You can use scale to draw now. They can will be connecting these two points. You can also make sure that these three boxes are equal in length. Okay, I'll just increase this a little. So yeah, vertically it's done. Now here, it's, I'll give a little space for the, you know, the black area here, same way down. I'll give a little space from this border. So yeah, this will be black in color. Now you can horizontally, you know, divide it. Make sure it's not a square. So if I'm, if I'm drawing something like this, it'll this will become a square, right? So I'm just increasing the length a little. Okay, I'll keep this distance, this as width. I'll also get a parallel length. I guess it is fine if the length is not matching the just above one. So this is all about the sketch. You did not erase these lines because we'll anyway be uh, painting black over these. So the, you know, all these mistakes would be covered. So this is all about the sketching part. So let me know if you guys have completed this. Like if anyone is having any doubts like about the sketching, just let me know. And then, uh... Yeah, like I can't hear. Uh, I said I'm done with my sketch. Yeah, okay, 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 fine, fine. So anyone else? Like, should we wait for anyone? No, ma'am, I have done also. Okay, okay, fine, cool. So we'll start with the background. Mm. One, two, one second. So yeah. Uh, the first thing is to start with a blurry background. I'm, I'll show you the colors first. So this is my mixing palette and I'm taking a flat brush. And I'll start with a little white. I'm taking white. I'll tell you the colors that we'll need. Like I'm taking a little more white. And then yellow. yellow, green, and a little brown. I'll also keep a little black ready. Okay, so these are the colors that we'll need. Excuse me, ma'am, can you repeat the colors? 
ओके आई विल बी यूजिंग व्हाइट येलो येलो कैन बी ऑफ एनी लाइक योर चॉइस इट कैन बी लेमन येलो गोल्डन येलो मिड येलो एनीथिंग सो व्हाइट येलो ब्राउन ग्रीन एंड ब्लैक दीस आर द कलर्स आई थिंक वी कैन स्टार्ट विद द राउंड ब्रश because since these boxes are small uh, i think hi hi so uh, will burn sena work uh, so yeah, yeah 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 yes 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 okay okay yeah anything that looks somewhat like brown would do okay okay and okay. also one more thing for um <coughs> so for green i have yeah. sap green yeah yeah sap green would do yeah Okay. So, like, yeah, I use these basic colors. So yes. Okay, works. <coughs> okay. So I'll start with a little white. Like I'm taking a wet brush, not so wet, but somewhat wet. I'll take a little white and a little bit of yellow. Thing is, I don't want it to be plain white, so I'm adding a. dot of yellow to this and actually i have 1 2 3 4 5 like almost four and a half boxes vertically so and i'll give it little so this part these first three two boxes i'll fill it with this white like yellowish white miss please explain the columns once more oh uh, like there are three boxes this way and if you go from top to bottom i have around four and a half like this is my like for my window this is the count and like if you have more than that like it's fine it's completely fine i'll just cover two boxes first two boxes with this light shade of white and yellow so for that i added white with a little bit of yellow uh, as you can see i didn't mix enough color so i'm running out of this mixed mm. color so i'll have to mix it again i'll add white and a bit of yellow and i'll fill this box it shouldn't be like pure white that's the reason why i added a little bit of yellow it looks somewhat so like have to like uh, paint the whole window with that mixture no 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 we won't be painting it fully first we'll be painting it part wise like the first part i'll be painting this light shade then slowly i'll add the you know background other than the sleeve you can see a blurry background in the back so after filling these two boxes i'll move to this box and same way i'll go need like down so we'll be doing part wise so that's the reason why i told the top left corner i'll be adding this white and yellow mixture it shouldn't be too yellow yellowish i hope you understood what i meant so yeah this is the color now okay, i'll tell you the down part so that it will be clear now you can like just forget about the count of box and all we'll start with the bottom part so for this for this like now just forget about these grids let's only take this rectangle into into our account and here over here the bottom part i'll start with i'll tell you the colors i'll go with a little black take a little black like i'm using a wet brush again because my paint is almost dry 
and green black and the green whichever green you are using you can use that one second and add a little yellow to this mixture you'll get somewhat an olive green color so it's a mixture of yellow black and green okay so once you receive this color just paint a line using this color so that you'll understand a small line not that thick now to this are you using yes i'm using gouache you can you can also use acrylics that's up to you next to this mixture i'll be adding a little yellow taking yellow i'm adding to the previous mixture the one that we just mixed i'm adding yellow to that along with yellow you can add a bit of white okay so just now we prepared a mixture using black green and yellow to that i'm adding after this one layer i'm adding a little more yellow and white okay using this color you you will be able to see that the previous color is dark and the one that we just create like made mixed is lighter so using that i'll go any is there anyone having any doubt i'll be painting another layer just above this now you can take white just white and you can mix white to the same color to make it further light see it's another shade lighter so this color i'll be again filling the i'll be making another layer like this is the ground surface okay if you are looking through the window somewhat a big window so this is the ground part so this is what we painted just now i hope this part is clear yes fine right it's nothing we added black green and yellow for the first layer for the next layer just above that we added a little more yellow and white then after that again we mixed more white to the same mixture and added the final top layer of the ground so after that so this is what i told this is the ground part now for the like the plants trees that are growing just above this ground that's what we'll be showing next and for that i'll again use black since we'll be using the same set of colors you don't have to mix it separately like you can mix it along with the previously made colors so i'll be mixing black to the same mixture like if you want to prepare a fresh mixture like you can very well go ahead so i'm taking a little black same way i'm adding white and yellow and yellow so i'll take a little yellow now to this mixture i don't want these colors to be so bright because i will have to paint the leaves 
So for that, the background should be light in color for the leaves that we'll be painting in the second layer, like to be, you know, to be clearly visible. So I'll add a little more yellow to this mixture and white. Like this looks more dull. So I'm, I'll be adding a little more yellow. But before we start the next layer, take a little bit of brown and mix it with white or any light color that you have in your palette. You can mix a little brown. So it's just brown and white. And you can give a thin layer using this color. Just above this. Okay, once that is done, take a little uh, this green wala color and mix it with brown that you just mixed. The thing is, we'll be mixing these colors here and there and we'll be giving like for the blurry background. This is what I'll be doing. I'll be mixing various colors and then, you know, spreading it on the paper. So the previously prepared green color along with the brown that we just mixed with white. So this is the color. You can see a slight difference. So you can mark bushes or something using this color. You can mix this color along with our previous brown layer. A rough bush like structure. Is this clear? I forgot to tell you, like if you have red, please take out your red color as well. I'll tell you that. So if this part is done. No, ma'am. No, okay. no, no. Okay, okay. Take your time. Make sure the color is dull, okay? Add more white. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can you repeat what you just did? I had a poor network connectivity. Okay, okay, okay. So I'll tell you. First, we had like we start like starting from the bottom. We had this first dark layer where I used black, green, yellow, and white. Uh, not white, like a little white. And I made this first layer. And following that, I added yellow to the same mixture, color mixture, and a little bit of white for the second. Okay, for the reference picture. Yeah, this is the reference picture that I'm using. So this is the part that we were just doing. Oh, I'm not painting exactly like the reference. It's just the rough idea. So this is the ground part that we just finished. So forget the leaves because we haven't it started the leaf part. So the background you can see over here. This is what we just did. Yeah. Um, one second. Yeah, so this is the reference picture. 
Okay. You can make yes. this uh, grass part, bush part a little more lighter. Uh, can I mix it? Mm. Or use white? Mm, you can mix a little white to the mixture that you use for painting. Mm. And uh, yeah, again you can... Color mix. Which color mixture? You can go ahead with mm, a little brown. See, you can mix all these colors a little, little. Brown, mm. green and yellow along with white. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. My ma mother are okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest is all fine. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you say, is it correct? Uh, one second. Nivedita's is fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sammy is also fine. I guess that's all right. Anyone else? Is this okay, ma'am? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, fine. So, yeah, just make sure that your background is somewhat light. Now, now next part, we won't be going in a detailed way. I'll, okay, now for the next thing, you need red. Take a little red. Now I'm using flat brush for the other background parts. I'll take a little red, you can see, take a little bit of red, any red would do. And I'm mixing it, a, like mixing it with a little brown. So you'll be getting somewhat a brownish red color. So you need to mix this red with white. Only a tiny bit of this paint is required. So I'll take a bit of this color that is red, brown, and white. And my paint is somewhat diluted. As you can see, it's not thick. So I'll be marking the corner part like this with this color. Once you have finished that, okay. So after that, I'll add a little white to the same mixture. I'm adding a little white to the same mixture along with yellow. Okay. So this is the color. Along with the yellow, yellow. somewhat orange, orange color, color, a very dull orange color since we are adding more white. Make sure it's not dark. So yeah, this is the color. And I'll cover the outer part of this shape with this color. I'm just making a border using this color. Ma'am, red and which color mix here? Brown. Any kind of brown. Any color that looks like brown. And with and white. That is okay. the first color. Then for the for some like for the border part, I added a little more yellow and white to the same mixture. Like it won't be that visible. Hmm. Next, uh, next we'll be mixing few colors together and then we'll be slowly adding here and there. Like we'll add those here and there to make the blurry effect. So for that, you can take white first. We'll be making four different colors. So I'm taking four different parts of white. As you can see, this is actually white color. So you can take white in four different places, as you can see. To that, in one, 
add a very little green just green see i'm just adding green very little and next one i'm adding only yellow and a little bit of green then for the next part i'll take a little green okay should i wait Yes, 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 yes. Mom, please okay. wait. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Oh, uh, ma'am, can you please repeat the color palette? Yeah. Okay. So I'm taking four different parts of white, and to that, the first part I just added white, the white and green, just white and green. You need to add more. I'll I'll tell you slowly. so this is white and to that i'm adding a little green so you can see this is the first color it should be the pastel color of green for next part like is this color clear for everyone just white and green thank you okay for the next part i'll use again white okay there was too much of water so okay fine i'll take a bigger quantity so white you can add yellow like very little yellow and green very little green so you can see there's a small difference this is this looks more like green and this looks a little more like a yellowish green all these are like pastel colors as we just added a lot of white is this color fine yes ma'am okay so next i'll again add white and make it here it take a little white on second okay to this color you just add yellow only yellow we are on third color right yeah yeah this is a third color okay. it's just white and yellow okay. if you are using lemon yellow add a little brown to that okay so this is the color white and yellow can we go to the fourth color yes ma'am okay so i'll take white because it will be like too light Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, so for the next color, fourth color, I'll take a little white. Now I'll add a little black, so it will be like a grayish color, light gray. So to this color, add a little green. This one look like a pastel color. so add a little more green and black for now the colors that i added in the fourth color palette is the uh, is white black and green you don't have to mix a large amount of paint just a little would do because the size of this is kind of small or well, it's fine you can anyway reactivate wash so for this color i used green black and white for the next palette like is this fine this will be darker the fourth color would be yes, dark yeah 
and then for the next dark shades i'll be taking black you don't have to add white take a little black and add yellow to this black okay so you'll get an olive green color here it's just black and yellow okay this color is just black and yellow the fifth color is just black and yellow is this fine black and yellow add more yellow okay like red like you can decrease the amount of black and increase the amount of yellow can we go to the fifth no uh, sixth color uh like how many colors more no no this would be the last no no so because i'm using acrylic so i can't be you know oh, let it dry okay. yeah 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 fine i got it so yeah this is the last one for that i'll be using white and brown white brown and a little black like no, not too much of white like a dot of white then brown and a little black okay so black brown and a little white okay so like are you ready with these colors excuse me ma'am can you repeat the fifth and sixth colors please fifth one is the like a little black and more yellow a little black and more yellow and for the last color it is black brown and a little white okay ma'am okay i'm using a flat brush for this purpose as you can see this is the brush that i'll be using a flat one so take the lightest color that is the yellow the third color that we just mixed white and yellow i'll take that and i'll start here where we just left next to that left like top left corner where we did that uh, white and yellow part next to that you can first watch i'll just add a border kind of thing around that see like this okay is this fine you don't have to make it a straight line or something okay let me tell you so i'm just you know roughly making like this so since the colors are like somewhat similar it's not clearly visible so this is how i did you don't have to make it like a straight line or something okay is this fine no it's completely not visible can you make it a little bit on the lower side now yeah fine okay okay okay, okay fine we keep it here so this is the rough part like you don't have to you know make it like a straight line or something so okay one second i'll just take a minute for those who are using acrylics so what i'll be basically what i'll do here is i'll use all these colors here and there to give a blurry effect suppose 
I'll quickly explain that. So this is the entire window. I consider this to be a rectangle. So I'll use all these colors randomly here and there in different. See, I'm using all these colors. One second, I'll just tell. I'll use all these colors here and there. I'm not focusing it in one particular area. And I'll then mix them together. Like you can see that it's somewhat giving you a blurry effect. So this is what I'll be doing with gouache. I think you can do this with acrylics before your paint dries. I hope this is clear. This is what I'll be doing for this entire part. Okay, oh, once. Okay. Yeah, okay, fine. So this, like, can we go to the next step? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, if your gouache is... Like, if it is drying quickly, you can add a little water to, you know, reactivate them. So, I'll tell you the colors. No, this was the yellow and white alone mixture. Next, you can add the second mixture that we just made. You can take the second mixture and you can randomly, you know, you can randomly paint it here and there. It need not be in any particularly, in any fixed place. You can just press your brush like this here and there. And cover. Don't cover everywhere. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is my... all colors, ma'am. No, no, no. I just use the second color now. Next, I'll use the first color and I'll repeat the same on places where I didn't use the previous color. As you can see, there is a space here. So I'll I won't fill the entire space with this color, but same way, randomly, wherever I find space, I'll add this color. So I hope it is clear. Fine, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Make sure your paint is a little loose. If you find your paint is like a thick paste, add a little more water. You can see mine, it's more watery. It's not thick paint. So this is my second color. You can also, you know, add it on this red color as well. So, because we don't want this red to be so bright. So, I'm just... You can, instead you can... I'll tell you another method. Keep your brush perpendicular to the ground. And you can, you know... Do details like this. So that you'll get a texture. For example. So, my brush is not that new. So, when I do this... You can see that I'm getting a different texture, right? Instead of doing this, I'm getting a different texture while using it perpendicularly. You can use that method also. Here and there, wherever there is space, you can do this. And also you can do over this red wala thing. You don't have to fully cover. Like one thing you have to keep in mind is that the what like the paint should be somewhat. It should be loose. Okay. Next, I I'll be using the fourth color the same way. So I hope you understood the technique. You can use all these first four colors, and you can fill in the gaps. Even if few space, like there are enough left like space left we'll fill those with the darker colors okay so the thing is if you find this color you can compare my screen with yours 
if you find that your colors are a bit dark you can just add white simply add white to all your previously mixed colors if you are using gouache and you know you can just paint over them it, it's completely fine because it's not anything in detail that we just did so and also since you are doing the blurry background i think it will be fine so i'm adding you know like the white and yellow part which i had the lightest color i'm adding that color white and yellow part i'm adding that like the thing is my paint is very diluted so i'm taking that if your paint is dry make sure that you add a little bit of water so i'll use this color to you know fill the remaining area don't start the dark part finish all the light colors first by you know adding it here and there you know i can completely cover this red part add more water to your color and you can slowly add a layer of this paint perpendicularly on the on this red part see it's giving you a it's not so defined right it's not like that bright as previous so using this color any dull color any color that you just mixed any four colors you can use them to fill in the entire like the remaining all the remaining areas you can add, you can add more water not just the yellow and white part you can mix all the colors and you know do this the perpendicular thing that i just told you like if anyone has any doubt or something just you can ask me